I'm excited. I've got another van to fit out. <laughs> this one here, it's a 2004 Toyota Commuter. And a commuter is basically just a, a high ace on steroids. Uh, it's uh, the same the same width as a high ace, and it's about a foot longer than uh, a long wheelbase high ace. But the best thing about these is they've got a high roof. I can't stand up still, but I'm a long time. <laughs> so I've been at the drawing board for the last week, and uh, I've come up with a lot of uh, good ideas to share with you uh, with this fit out. Our first step of this transformation is to just basically tidy up the inside here. Wet rubbing, all this back so you can see where all the, the paint has been chipped away on the edges here. That's what we've got to sand back. Now, you don't have to sand it back to metal. I'm trying to just sand it back to the undercoat. Sometimes you'll go through the undercoat, but it doesn't really matter. The name of the game is just to get it smooth. So you get your, your wet brush, your wet paper. Just have a bucket of water going. Dump your paper in there so it's a bit wet and you just rub it like that. And as I said, it makes a mess. That's why I'm doing it now, not later. I've already done this bit up here. And as you can see, that, that's all nice and smooth. You don't have to get all the white paint off, just so it, all you want to do is so it feels really nice and smooth. If it doesn't feel smooth, when you paint it, it won't look smooth. Get wet rubbing. We're sanding back the bits that are all scratchy like that, but the bits that aren't, give them so that this bit here won't need much, but the bits that, don't, that aren't scratched up, we'll be painting them as well so that we get an even flow of paint. So just give them a light rub as well, just so that the paint sticks to them a bit better. Well, I've nearly finished uh, rubbing it all back, so what we're going to do now is um, take these uh, these panels off and they're just held on with pressure clips. Uh, there's just a plastic pressure clip that goes in a hole like that, so you just work along it. Get to one, you just put your hand in like that and pull it out, pull it outwards. The pressure clip should just pull out. If it does, if I've got a screwdriver for if the clip doesn't come out, sometimes you need to be with a screwdriver. Anyway, we're going to pull all those out. Okay, we're going to hang on to the two back ones that, because they've got the cutout there for the, the wheel arch and I'll use that for a template later when I make the new panels that are going down the sides. Now we're masking up, and masking up is just basically sticking the newspaper, or whatever sort of paper you got, over the bits that you don't want to paint. Right, here's a little masking trick. Pull off a bit of masking tape, I'm going to mask up here. When you put the masking tape on, don't have it right on the edge, have it a couple of mil over the edge, all the way around, make it on like that, and then run your fingernail around there, and it folds that bit of overhang to the underside of that plastic trim, so you don't get paint on the underside of that plastic trim. Now, when buying paint, don't buy those little cans you get in most automotive shops. Go to a, a paint shop, an automotive paint shop, and they'll mix up the correct colour for you and put it in a pressure pack. They're much bigger, they've got much better spray nozzles on them than the cheap little cans you buy in, in the other automotive shops. So go to a paint shop, get the paint code off your ID tag on your van, they'll mix up the exact colour and put it into a pressure pack for you. And for little jobs like this, I find pressure packs are a lot easier than using a gun. Smooth, steady strokes. 
and don't put too much on at once. Right now yeah, we've finished uh, touching up all the paintwork that we wanted to touch up. Uh, next thing I do now is the floor. Now in uh, most vans like this you'll see the original floor, a bit grotty under there. Uh, but the original floor has got uh, corrugations in it. So you have to put down a piece of ply over the whole floor first to get it nice and flat. Now in this that's already been done, which is a bonus. But we've also got uh, all these wheelchair anchor points in here as well that some of them we had to remove and patch with some bits of ply but if we're putting new vinyl in here if we put new vinyl in here it'll eventually sink into all these wheelchair anchor points and all the other bits and pieces so what i'm going to do is just lay a, a layer of three mil ply over the whole lot so that when we put our new vinyl down it'll be all nice and smooth sweet oh well, let's go Measure up our ply that we're putting down and uh, measure it as, uh, as accurately as you can. Like my old man always used to say, measure twice and cut once. This is actually a panel here that bolts off and it's the access panel to the back of your engine so make sure you don't cover that. We've also got the cutout for the step here to do. So we'll put the sheet about there and we'll do this cutout first so it goes all the way up and then we'll mark this other cutout from underneath. made our cut out here, that board goes all the way forward, which is what we want. Now we can mark out the cut out for the step from the underneath. I'll grab a pen. So I'm going to just trace around the step from the underneath. There we go with that. Not bad, that'll do for now. We might need Trim it up a bit later. I'm going to put the edging back on. But that's good. We can glue that one down now. All right. Glue the ply down with good old liquid nails. This ply is just an underlay for the vinyl. It's not structural in any way, so I'm just gluing it to the old vinyl here, just so it doesn't slip around. Um, when we finish the van off, we'll be putting edging around it all anyway, so it won't be able to move. But I've marked a line on the floor here just put it around the middle but then concentrate just off that line so that uh, when the other board goes in where the join in the boards are it'll be nicely glued through there and it won't show up through the vinyl so. now I'll drop the board down get it in place now what we're going to do put a heavier bit of ply on top edge there so we make sure we're glued down well on our join another bit of ply up the back and we'll put a bit of weight on those all the glue sets Thank you. 
ply glued down and heavy stuff on it to hold it in place while the glue dries. So I'm done. Alright, so the glue is dried on F4, so that's all good to go. Nice level uh, area to put the, the, the vinyl down, so it'll look neat. Uh, next step is to do the side panels. We'll get onto it. Before we line the walls, um, actually we've got to insulate them. So uh, we've got Nikki on the job now. Uh, we're just using earth wool, some natural stuff. Good for your health or something, I don't know. Good for your health or something, I don't know. Something, I don't know. We're just jamming all the earth wool into the walls there now before we put the lining on to insulate the walls. How you going there? Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's good. good. I'm only putting a few screws in along the bottom and the top because along the bottom we're just going to put sort of a piece of angle like that to finish it off and uh, that'll also keep that in place down the bottom and across the top I'm going to run just a small timber cap on it so once that's screwed on it'll keep the top in as well. But uh, we won't be putting that stripping on down the bottom until the, the vinyl goes in. So we'll just put a couple of screws in there now to keep it in place. Now all we've got to do is put a bit of pressure on that in the middle so that uh, the lining board glues to those points that I put in. holding pressure against the panel there to hold it in place while the glue dries. And there's that panel in. So another reason why uh, joining our sheets at the original join here is so that we can use the old panel that was in here as a template for the wheel arch. So this is where the old panel would have originally started, in there. So all we've got to do is measure down from the top of our new board down to where the old panel would have started, which is... 45 millimeters. So now all we have to do is place the old panel over the new panel, have it flush along the join, and then drop it down 45 millimeters. Like so, all along. And then once you've got it in position, that flush along there, and you can mark out the wheel arch on the new piece, and then we'll just continue those lines down there and cut it out. Alrighty, yeah, I've got cut out the second panel. Uh, before I screw the second panel in, um, I'm going to use the second, this panel as a template 
to cut out the wheel arch for this side. Now I've already measured where the wheel arch has to go on that panel. So we'll just grab this panel up. Oh, not break it. And there's the panel for the other side. And we'll just lay him on top. Now this is... I've got a mark here somewhere. There it is. Line that up with the end of the panel that's underneath it. Line it all up and then I can just mark that out there and it'll be right for the wheel arch on that side. Heating. Insulation and lining done. Still waiting for the glue to dry on that one. Righto, so there's our, our tidy up done. Um, got a good, uh, nice clean straight slate to, to work with now. Uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, check out what we do next. Till then, happy van life. And <laughs>